Hi everyone, my name is Dahlia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Um, I don't know how this discussion is going to go since this is such a huge novel and I don't even know where to begin in terms of like talking about it. But basically how it's going to go down is I'm going to just quickly describe it as best I can and basically tell you what I think about it, my thoughts, my emotions, and give you the rundown of my reading experience with it. Um, so yeah, I don't know how like this will be turned into like whether it will be like more of a review, a discussion, book talk. It will be somewhere in that range. But yeah. So. Game of Thrones. It's pretty much the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R.R. R. Martin. It's everywhere. It's even a TV show, so I'm pretty sure like most people have heard about it. It is in an adult fantasy set in a world called Westeros. Well, I think that's just one of the continent names, um, the one where most of the story takes place in. Um, I don't know if like there's like an overall like bigger world name but if there is please let me know um and this pretty much follows a huge cast of characters like a lot of characters and going into this book I really didn't know much about it or like what it would be about all I knew was that it was high fantasy adult and that it had a huge cast of characters that um all played key parts in this overall story um, and so it is told from multiple perspectives. Um, there's eight of them. Most of them come from the Stark family. And the Starks are the Lords of the North. Um, basically this world is broken up into sections um, that all answer to one king who rules over the entire realm. Um, it used to be seven separate kingdoms, but now there are wardens in each direction of this realm, um, and they all answer to the king. So Eddard Stark is the lord and the warden of the north, and um, pretty much the story starts off with um, the hand of the king um, dying and the king coming to the north and asking Eddard Stark to become his new hand. Now, this sets in motion a lot of events. Um, especially since there are a lot of families in this realm, um, some of which want, basically they lust for more power. Um, one of these key families is the Lannisters, and they are already a very powerful family in this realm. Um, the a Lannister is married to the king, and, you know, they're like everywhere, and so there's a lot of drama in terms of like the politics between these families and stuff. And meanwhile, there is a princess across the sea who, um, who basically is navigating the cultures across the sea because she does come from the Seven Kingdoms, but her family was overthrown. Um, and so they were the true like heirs to the Iron Throne, but there's all that. Plus there's drama up north. Um, where there's a wall, and basically there's like this supernatural threat looming over the land, but really nobody um, acknowledges it or like recognizes it um, because this threat is thousands of years old and it's thought to have disappeared, but it's now reawakening, and so there's that that some characters are dealing with as well. Um, so there's a lot going on in this world, and... At first, I was afraid that it would all be overwhelming, that I wouldn't like it, or I wouldn't understand what's going on, but I loved it so much. Um, I would say that out of a 5 star scale rating, I would give it a 4.75 stars, though I really wanted to give it a 5 stars because it was that good. Um, there are some things I didn't feel comfortable with, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, overall, I just love this book a lot. Um, to start off with, uh, I would want to talk about the world building, which I think was fantastic. Um, I really felt emerge into this world. Everything felt very fleshed out. Um, the map is very, very, very detailed. 
as you can see and it's tiny because this is a mass market paperback version um, but it was still readable I still understood it and it took a while to like get the hang of where everything was more or less um, and there's so many families great and small in this world and you learn who's the powerful ones who are the weaker ones who answers to who and like the histories between these families and you know the history of the politics and everything because before King Robert who's the current king um, there was a different king a different family who was ruling over the realm and so we learn about the history of that and all the complicated politics because you know there's people who have betrayed the past king but now serve the current king and you know there's all this stuff going on and everything was just so fleshed out and fascinating and I loved it um, that part like endlessly like fascinated me um, so if you do love polit political intrigue and fantasy like this is so good and you don't you know you f you would think that you would get lost in all the turmoil but you know it's actually not hard at all to follow along like maybe in the beginning when you're getting to rec to know and understand like all of the different characters even the minor ones like the stewards and you know the meisters and all that um it takes a little bit to get to know the characters but once you do it's very it's a very fast read um despite its length so i really appreciated that um and now to talk about the characters, I love the characters so much. There is very, very few characters who were like really, really good or really, really bad. Like mostly all of them were pretty much morally ambiguous and I, I love that. Like it made the series and the story even more complicated because their actions, their thoughts, their beliefs are complicated like they are complicated human beings and I feel like that's realistic um, because there are conflicts between you know your love for your family versus your ambition for like power and politics and when all of that like mixes up it creates a compl complicated morally ambiguous character and I love how so many of these characters like you know are don't lean like super like bad or evil but they just are and they have all different ambitions and different wants and desires um, that drive forward the story and I just really appreciated that um, there are like, I would say, three or four characters that I really, really, really loved. Um, the first is, of course, Lord Eddard Stark. Um, he's probably one of the main characters in the story. Um, I would say his perspective appears the most in this book. Um, as I said again, he's the Warden of the North and the new Hand of the King. He's a great father. He has five, five six children, I would say. Um, he, you know, is very honorable. He does make some decisions that, you know, kind of cost him some pretty important stuff. And I don't know. I really, really enjoyed him. I also liked Arya Stark, her youngest daughter. I mean, his youngest daughter. She was amazing. She's this little girl who pretty much fights, like actively fights against the patriarchy that is this world. Like, okay getting into the thing that I didn't really love about this world is how heteronormative and patriarchal it is like it's it was kind of uncomfortable at times but what made me okay with it in the end ish not like completely like oh I'm okay with it but be there are strong female characters who are like actively fighting against this patriarchy and what makes me like lean towards the future books is wanting to know how they continue to rise against this you know this system where everything is set up against them um, and so for Arya she's expected to be a young proper lady and she's like hell no I want to learn how to fight with a sword I'm gonna be sassy I'm gonna dress up in trousers and I love it her sister Sansa is the opposite I know a lot of people don't like Sansa um, at least from what I've heard. But honestly, as another woman, I don't want to, like, hate her because she's just a product of her society. And I also have a lot of hope for her that, you know, she's stuck in, you know, this 
box way of thinking and was raised to act and behave a certain way and so even though some of the decisions she made aren't like really popular she it's really not her fault I would say the way she is and so you know I don't mind her I don't love her I don't hate her I refuse to hate her and so yeah another character that I love was Daenerys Targaryen like of course I love Daenerys um, she's the princess across the sea and um, I love how her character progressed to be this really strong fierce um, woman um, because in the beginning she was timid she was shy she was you know uncertain of herself and I love her character development and I also loved Jon Snow I think he was one of the few characters who's like really like pure and good intentioned um, besides like the younger kids obviously but yeah um, the characters again were great and I really 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 love them um, let's see what else should I talk about there's just so much that's basically like the key things that I wanted to like touch on I don't want to make a really really long video um, so as I said I would say this is a 4.75 out of the five stars if it was rated on the five star scale and the 0.25 as I mentioned was because of the way the patriarchy and everything was set up in this world um, I'm a feminist, so some things I was just like, mm, eh, how about a no? But because the women in this story, even Cersei Lannister, they were like actively like pushing against the walls of their like oppressive society. And, you know, even da Daenerys, she, you know, she's, she starts off like, you know, having to be subject to her brother and everything. And then she, she progresses. And so yeah i just love this story so much and i don't know why i haven't read it sooner but yeah i would definitely recommend it if you haven't read it and if you have maybe you know you feel me on what i'm saying yeah anyways that's all for my thoughts of game of thrones thank you for watching and i am going to continue on with the series i am currently reading the second book i just started today so i'm not very far into it but i'm really excited to see where everything goes so Yes, that's all. Thank you for watching again and have a very good day.